Good morning. Welcome to three new. Well, welcome to first. Three, I'm just so excited. I can't even talk because this is the first time in a very, very long, long time, time we, we have, have all of these people here in the atrium here in our studio. And I'm just so excited. The Nueces County Junior Livestock Show is in full swing with events all month long, including the Queens Contest this weekend. And we have the contestants here with us on three news first edition. I want to make sure that everybody gets introduced, starting with. Keegan Forrest, representing Run in JM 4-H. Samantha Huerta, representing London 4-H. Emma Campbell, representing Nueces County 4-H Council. Bailey Nobles, representing the Nueces County 4-H Ambassadors. America Garcia, representing Bishop FFA. Aaliyah Moreno, representing Banqueta FFA. Danica Good, representing Cotton Community 4-H. Kylie Zimmerman, representing Driscoll 4-H. Sarah Salinas, representing Cal and FFA. Now I'm gonna come this way. Leighton Lahan representing Bishop 4-H. Trista Johnson representing Annabelle 4-H. Violet Gerlach representing Flower Above Padre Island 4-H. Kaylee Cargill representing River Hills 4-H. Ashlyn Avelka representing Chaparral 4-H. Bailey Brown representing Blunzer 4-H. Caitlin Huff representing the West Osa 4-H Club. Hannah Wright representing Traveling 4-H Club. Hannah Hominick representing 4-H Trap and Ski. Rebecca Martinez representing Mary Carroll FFA. And I'm just Sally Delgado, and I'm the 2023 Nueces County Junior Livestock Show Queen. Yes, we have the <laughs> contestants right here on 3 News First Edition. I'm so excited, Giselle. Okay, so talk to us about this year, your experiences, what you've learned, a takeaway, special memories. Yes, so when I was crowned, it was definitely very breathtaking. And looking back to, wh to where I am now, it's crazy to see how much this has Im deeply impacted my life. Going through the contest definitely helped me as a person and become who I am today. And then along with Miss Penny and Miss Mary Truesdale, they've tru truly helped me become who I am today. And I'm so proud to say that this contest represents so much good and so, gr so much greatness. Um, but going off of that, yes, this year has been so amazing and it's definitely impacted my life. But going along with that, um, the contest is this Saturday and come out if you can and represent, we, all, we will be also representing the parade this Saturday at the Nueces County Fairgrounds. So where is the contest going to be and what time? It's at seven and it's at the T Toloso Midway Center. All right, make sure you go out there and support these beautiful, beautiful ladies. ladies. So, so any advice for the contestants for this weekend? Yes, so definitely advice that I would give is to just be yourself because at the end of the day, the judges are just looking for who you are as a person and what you represent. Thank you so much for coming all the way over here to 3 News First Edition. We miss you ladies so much and thank you for blessing with so much beauty this morning. Thank you. John Thomas. Barbie, thank you. We appreciate that. Next to